Welcome to Real Terms for AI on the road. And we're here today with one of our developer advocates, Don. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. We've got questions. Uh-oh, I've got answers. Let's see if they match. Season two is all about agents. So let's start with, what's an agent? I, an agent is when you want your AI to do something other than just answer a question. Like you want it to help you code. You want it to uh, deploy something. You want it to go out and find information and put it together in some kind of clever summary. Let's talk about the next thing. You do a lot with infrastructure, obviously. Yeah, yeah, whatever infrastructure teams. For me. How do you think about agents and infrastructure together? <laughs> well, so agents require multi-model architectures, okay. right? Okay. And each model has a different infrastructure need. Okay. So you can run smaller agents, prompt routers, all of this other stuff on things as small as CPUs or low-end GPUs. You don't need the most expensive architecture for all of that multi-model architecture. So for me, when I think about infrastructure, yeah and all of these different kinds of models working together to get you your stuff done, I think about heterogeneous infrastructure, different storage techniques, different networking techniques, different accelerators or no accelerator at all. That's super cool. And yeah. I think you also mentioned another thing. So we're talking about multi-agent systems, right? Right. How do we then take kind of this like CPU, GPU, managed service thing, and think about that in terms of building a multiple agent system. Well, I mean, I, I hear we have this new protocol for yeah, <laughs> MCP. Yeah, MCP. thank you. Auto thank context you. protocol. Yeah, so we just use that to have them all talk to each other, right? It does work like that. It's yeah. pretty cool. So let's go, let's go a different direction a little bit. What was your aha moment with agents? What was the place where you like, where it clicked, where you got it finally? Or have you not had it yet? I don't think I've quite had it because I really yeah. haven't. I haven't dug into. I've been really in the weeds with uh, the speeds and feeds, as I mentioned. I am looking forward to having that agentic aha moment where it actually goes out and does something for me, and then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to sip my coffee while it works. All right, last question. All right, two part. What is vibe coding? And when was the last time you did vibe coding? All right. So half of my coding land is reading Stack Overflow and, and, and going, oh yeah, that looks like it works. And oh wait, I needed to work better. Yeah. Now I can just ask the AI to do that. And I don't have to think so hard about the depth. I would like to think less about the depth and more about the just get it done. And I did it before this show, like two of the demos, I just vibe coded it up. So, yeah. There's, there's definitely a trend. Yeah. All right. Right on. Don, we have a phrase that we say at the end. So let's, let's say goodbye to everyone who's watching this, okay. right? Happy prompting. Happy prompting. One, two, three. Happy prompting. Happy prompting.